you start with both sides grappling in a defensive position. The technique was already in existence in Koryu, one of the older schools of Jiu-Jitsu, and the exact same form has been handed down. In the present day Dandori, we do not start directly from such a position. In Sumigayashi, you fall backwards in a self-sacrificing movement, place the instep of your right foot in the crook of his left knee and lift him up over your head. ...around self-defense and not so much competitive sport. With the evolution of the gi, the options have become very much available and thus the things that are connected to self-defense such as close contact etc are not so much used anymore so the first thing that we're going to be taking a look at is your uh, underhook and it is from the nage no kata uh, harai goshi technique so you start with leave sleeve and lapel and from there you switch to an underhook keeping the contact with the sleeve turning around and sweeping uh, and then throwing your opponent here you can see it it starts regular sleeve and then switches to underhook while maintaining the sleeve grip here you can see it clearly and here one more time and throw it you can do this with a variation of other throws like here Shintaro Higashi demonstrating an Ochigari and of course uh, other techniques like uchi mata and you can see you, you need to pinch the shoulder so you can actually control it uh, overhook uh, a lot of people go for overhook because it's much easier to overwhelm and control the shoulder here you can see it's an over under while performing sumigaishi in nage no kata uh, again jigotai a very low stance self-defense stance and from there you grip over and under as you are seeing here and from there you unbalance and throw with sumigaishi uh, classical you can still see it uh, everywhere in bjj they're very big fans of this throw and also uh, in judo today of course but the grip and the stance are very old and rarely used uh, today probably not even used but uh, this is the old classical jiu-jitsu of self-defense used to do it let's take a look at overhook and trying to grip the arm finishing with ko uchigari this is uh, olympic bronze medalist ronda rousey performing it against the cage uh, next is ukiwaza same thing over and under you get your stance and your grips and unbalance and throw but this time it's flattening your leg on the ground and then throwing them over forward a little bit uh, diag diagonally here you see it Ronda Rousey this is not Kosotogari but here you see over under and then look at her leg and finally is your two on one this was mostly for arrests and disarming here from Maeda's book self-defense of jiu-jitsu um, he goes through it while disarming uh, guns and knives let's see Hickson demonstrating it in video so he shows you have a cross grip and then you go to the side and then control the arm and continue to disarm so again this is mostly for self-defense and arrest techniques and not so much for competition fighting uh, however in nogi uh, this is a very popular grip especially in greco since you are uh, standing upright so here is a vlad kulikov demonstrating a two-on-one off a collar tie controlling the wrist and of course the bicep and then keeping close contact with the shoulder so it's very important to control the arm and then from there you proceed to move them around it you go to the side much like the arrest and self-defense techniques and here he demonstrates a legless fireman's carry uh, again uh, this is for nogi greco-roman would be uh, very uh, would get a good use out of this two-on-one 
uh, also Wheeler Olympic bronze medalist was a big fan of the two-on-one here Vlad Kulikov demonstrated very smoothly so um, if you want to click away this is mainly it uh, but um, as you can see these old uh, grips that a lot of people say they're not in, in judo's repertoire or uh, in MMA what are they gonna do or if there's no gi what are they gonna do um, it's nice to know that they thought about it uh, already and they had a huge repertoire of techniques from the leg grabs to the no-gi grips or stuff that can transition into MMA and no-gi uh, grappling but uh, judo has become uh, very specialized in a few things just like uh, jujitsu has become specialized in things just like uh, I don't know pugilism has become boxing today uh, this is the natural course of things that become competition oriented but it's nice to know that we have historical document documentation that allows us to see what the entire repertoire used to be from leg locks to nogi grips overhook underhook uh, two on one or russian tie what we people call it um, it's nice to know that you can have all these things within jujitsu they've thought of arresting techniques self-defense competition from the edo period and onwards competition has become a great thing since there was peace in all of japan and the civil war was over so uh, it's nice that, to know that they had all these things as you can see here these self-defense demonstrations with leg locks and also uh, the throws and the arrest techniques it's such a rich and complete art in my opinion and it shouldn't be reduced to only you know competition and randori uh, in france they have what is called jiu-jitsu class but uh, it's not bjj it's uh self-defense jujitsu uh, i don't know if they spar but they do a lot of kani basami they do uh, leg locking techniques and they uh, do randori as well and also self-defense scenarios so uh, perhaps i should give it a shot i don't know but uh, for now uh, it's this is the video and uh, it's nice to know that they had all these options and they've thought of all the scenarios so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon i have exclusive content for the patrons only but as always my main content will always be on the main channel uh, but your support would mean greatly to keep this content evolving and growing uh, so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening